This is Sandro and welcome back to another very exciting tutorial. Introducing the Vibrator Generator, an easy-to-use script for Adobe After Effects that creates vibrant and dynamic animations effortlessly. And more importantly, we can customize the speed, seed, energy, and even more, we can control expression opacity, meaning we can keyframe the expressions. Okay, let's dive into this. First, we want to get the script from the Gumroad. You just copy Vibrator Generator and paste it in Script UI Panels folder. Now, let's fire up Adobe After Effects. To enable the script, we're going to go to Window and then Vibrator Generator. Let me dock this over here. So before we dive into this example, I want us to explore the script and just I want you to see how easy it is to work with the script. I'm going to create a new composition and a circle. Control Alt Home so that we center the anchor point and now we can just click Add Noise. But it will tell us Control Layer Not Found. Please create a control layer first. Okay, let's create the control layer first. And then let's select our shape again and add noise. As you can see, we already have some pretty cool movement going on here. And let's talk about the values. We can adjust the speed to 0 0.5 and then energy to 250. And let's select the layer and add noise. As you can see, it behaves slowly, but with higher energy. You can also press clear. You can deselect scale and rotation and apply effect only on position property. Okay, let's clear this. What if we have many circles? Okay, let's duplicate this as much as we can. Let me drag them around just randomly. Let's create the control layer and then select all the shape layers and add noise. Unfortunately, the movement is same for each layer. Of course, we can go like clear and sort of add noise on this one and then select the other one and change seed and add noise on this one and do basically the same for each layer. And then eventually they're going to behave differently. But that's boring. Check this out. When we click add noise, then we have same noise on each layer, we can press random seed. And now it's automatically going to randomize each layer individually. Look at this cool, smooth effect. Remember this because from this animation, basically you can create something like this within just a second. I have spheres with screen blending mode on and they're doing pretty much the same. Then I use this as a track mat to reveal my text. I'm also applying Gaussian Blur so that we have that smooth gradient animations going on. So if you will get the script, you will get the project file as well. So you can explore this composition as much as you want. Let's check out the control layer. And as you can see, we have here a vibrator control, which is set to 100. Vibrato slider control allows us to basically keyframe the animation. We can just apply F9 here. So we have like smooth movement. You can also pretty much bring your animation to complete stop. Oh, this is an interesting example because while we have some constant wiggle going on, we can also animate another wiggle effect on each of those layers. And for that, we have additional vibrator controls. Okay, how can we do this? First, let's disable all of these sliders so that we can build them together. Now, if we will press play, there is nothing going on. Let's get rid of those two sliders. Let's set this to 100. And this is what would have happened if we would just applied it with a random seed. Now here, I have two null objects. Shape layers are following those nulls and basically also having some animation by themselves as well. I've already applied some adjustments to our null, but unfortunately, as you can see, because I deleted the vibrate controls, now the script cannot find it. It gives us an error. Let me select both of the layers and click clear. It's going to basically clear all the expressions from these existing layers. We can select both layers and say add noise 
and then random seed. I think it's too crazy. Maybe we can go like 135 and do this again. Uh, the spheres are having their own wiggles, but they are still following the null object. To control them separately, let's select null number one. We can open up our expression. In this code, we're going to just come over here and type two. We can insert the space as well. And let's do the same for the other one. But this time around, let's go for three. And the next step would be to duplicate this guy twice. And it will be automatically assigned to each null object. This way we can manipulate our animation as much as we want. Those are the main techniques that I used to create this micro blob. For this one, I used my new Jiggle uh, MP4 video that was created in Cinema 4D, and I used only that layer to create all of this. It was also not transparent, so I had to mask it. Let's take a quick look what's going on inside. So here I used the technique to slowly give this wiggle effect to our new Jiggle MP4 file, and then I'm transitioning into this huge amount of jiggles wobbling around. Okay, let's take a look what happens inside this composition. And let me disable the camera for a second. We have a bunch of jiggle layers and some very basic animation so that some of those jiggle layers are coming to the center and then spreading out again. When you apply the noise to a 3D layer, it's gonna wiggle in three-dimensional world. So if we will turn on the camera, let's take a look from the top view so that we understand exactly what's going on. So here we have our jiggle elements and then camera is going backwards as fast as he can. And then uh, using click motion, I created very, very easy animation that would allow me to do sort of jump cut and transition from previous scene into this one. I would say I love this script because it saves a huge amount of time and it writes expressions for you and it also clears them if you don't want them to be there or if you want to randomize them or adjust the speed and you don't want to mess with the numbers in the script. However, I want us to create the same effect by manually writing the code that will allow us to have the slider and basically create the same control. Okay, let's clear the script and let's do this one together. Let's get rid of the slider control and, and all we have is simple circle. Now let's select the position property and alt click it. Let's delete this. First, we need to create a variable. What is variable? If you're familiar with JavaScript without variables, we won't be able to sort of function. But the way After Effects expression writing works, it's slightly different from writing JavaScript. Let's bring in a variable and call it control effect. For this, we need to write VAR, which stands for variable. And then what's the name of this variable? So I would say it's control effect. So let's just write control effect, but we can name it as anything we want, but I just want us to understand what this line does. So basically this line has to create variable in this case named control effect that will store a slider control effect that we have right here in our effects and presets panel effect and hit enter and then here we can go slider control we want to control intensity of the wiggle effect so we can type that the other variable is named as intensity and this basically equals slider. So for that, we're just going to bring another variable that we just created, which is control effect. And let's use here a slider, which will have maximum of 100 value. And now let's bring the driver, like what should be driving the animation. In this case, it's wiggle effect. So let's say variable animate, which equals wiggle, oops, wiggle for like 250. But if we'll press play now, nothing is going to happen because we don't have function. We have all the layers, like imagine we brought all the layers, but we don't tell them what to do. So this is a 
bit tricky part. So make sure you're paying attention, like what's going on. And we're going to say here, value of this one minus intensity, the variable that we just created up there. And then we need to add here our wiggle effect, right? So we're going to bring animate variable, say times intensity value is multiplied by one minus intensity, in this case, control effect, and plus animate, which is multiplied by intensity again. If we will click away now, uh, I mean, it's still not going to work because we don't have the slider control, slider control. We can just simply drag and drop. And if you will increase the intensity, now we have pretty similar control that we have from our vibrate generator, but it's pretty overwhelming to copy and paste or randomize when you get to work with many of the layers. However, this is the way you write scripts, but not expressions in After Effects. I did this for demonstrational purposes, and now I'm going to attempt to simplify the same script. And let's see how we can do that. First, let's remove the variables. After Effects already knows that this is a variable. You don't even need to call him like control effect. We can just call him C and then change this one to C as well. We can change intensity to I and animate to A. Well, same thing we need to do for our function. Animate to A and intensity to I again. And it will work the same way as the previous one. So main takeaway from this is approach, how we approach to certain type of controls in After Effects. And what's the logic behind writing all of this? And that's a wrap on today's tutorial. Make sure to click like, subscribe and leave a comment if you have any questions. Meanwhile, you can also check my other tools, which is one click motion. And it basically says what it is. It's just one click motion. And also I have a video about top five expressions in After Effects that every motion designer should know in 2023. I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you next time.